Hey everyone, what's going on? Phoenix here. Today I am bringing you another Asheron's Call build guide similar to the one that I did for Phoenix. Today I'm going to be showing you my Tinker character, Fen Rao. Um, just kind of going through what my attributes are, what my skills are, and the gear that I use for doing some tinkering. So to start it off, I am 100 strength, 100 endurance, 60 coordination with uh, some augmentations and 100 focus. And I've done enough luminance to get Aura of the Craftsman, Aura of the Specialist. This is behind my face, so you can't see that. Sorry. <laughs> aura of the Craftsman, Aura of the Specialist, and Aura of the World all the way to the top. And then I kind of stopped worrying about luminance because those are the only ones that really, really actually matter for doing crafting. Uh, I am level 275 on this character, which is nice. But for my skills, I got the augmentations to do spec armor tinkering, item tinkering, magic item tinkering, salvaging, and weapon tinkering. And then to get to level 275, I used um, spec healing spec two-handed combat. And then I am a trained three school creature item life with uh, trained dirty fighting and trained melee D and also mana conversion. I also had lockpick because at the time Phoenix didn't have lockpick. Now I have lockpick on Phoenix um so i don't need it as much but it's still kind of nice to have and one thing to note is a lot of people make like a full crafting character like alchemy cooking fletching and tinkering whereas i separated that onto a different character so that's why i don't have those skills um so yeah i just have that on phoenix's mule it's another character that i have that is my acf um, and then as for my gear i am five pieces tinker set four pieces wise set. I actually finally finished putting this suit together today uh, for the purposes of making this video. So I'm pretty excited about actually having this correct. You have to forgive my tailoring. I need to set up a good look for this character. Um, so I have a legendary two-handed combat amulet. I have a legendary bludgeoning ward trinket, and I did the damage reduction health and then damage on this character because i figured staying alive is more important for my bracelets i have a uh legendary weapon tinkering expertise legendary flame ward and epic armor because i don't have legendary armor so epic armor is actually really nice i have a legendary slashing ward ring and then a legendary magic res ring with one vitality for my clothing i have legendary armor tinkering legendary piercing ward and then for my armor, I have Tinker Set, Legendary Focus Helm, uh, Wise Set, Legendary Willpower Upper Arms, which actually I kind of want to switch that after talking with Ven a little bit about it to possibly Wise Set Quickness because the willpower doesn't really do much for this character. I thought it would help a little bit more with the casting, like level 8s for buffing, but it doesn't really make that much of a difference. So I may end up switching this piece out. For my chest... I have Wise Legendary Storm Ward. For my lower arms, I have Wise Legendary Invuln. Gloves are Tinker's Legendary Magic Item Tinkering. Girth is Tinker's Set Legendary Acid Ward. Upper legs, Wise Set Legendary Frost Ward. Lower legs, I have Tinker's Set Legendary Endurance. And for shoes, Tinker's Set Legendary Coordination. And then also for my cloak, I have a Weave of Melee Defense cloak, and I'm leveling up on Phoenix right now uh, some level 5 tinkering cloaks. I'm hoping to, once I'm finished, have uh, level 5 cloaks for armor tinkering, weapon tinkering, and magic item tinkering, just in case I need that little boost. For my Aetheria, I would ideally like to have all Sigil of Fury. Right now I only have two fully leveled ones and again i'm leveling up another sigil of fury uh red etheria so once that's done i'll have all sigil of fury which is really nice um let me see if i can find it in my buffs yeah sigil of fury six adds six endurance and endurance is part of the formula for armor tinkering so as high as you can ever get armor tinkering it's always good I have some weapons just in case I need to do some combat. Like I have the Rinthid Spear. I have a Well-Balanced Lugian Great Axe, which I think is pretty cool. Bludgeon, Acid, and Cold Weapons. 
I don't do too much combat on this character anymore, but I do like the option of doing combat. Um, what else? I also have a focusing stone, which I would recommend getting on all your tinkering characters. And I also have a, you know, experience trinket in case I'm doing some luminance stuff. I like to have that. So, uh, yeah, I think this is a pretty good template for like a levelable tinkering character. Maybe once you got all the way to 275 and you have all the luminance you want, you could get rid of the, um, you know, spec uh, combat, you know, two-handed combat or whatever you decide to go with. Um, I do think melee works the best because you have all the strength and you don't need the coordination as much because the tinkering skills don't really use coordination that well. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you find it useful doing some of these. Like, I don't know if it's a build guide or just kind of like what my suit is, but I think they're useful for people to see, you know, what other people have for their character. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press that like button. Please subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching. Bye.